Hey, welcome back to Postal Barbecue. I'm Jabin Postal, and today at the grill, we're making an incredible whiskey glazed ham using the pit barrel cooker. And just like always, I'm gonna put all the show notes for you in the description box below. So make sure to click down there to see everything that you need for this recipe. Also, if you like what we're doing on this channel, consider subscribing for more great barbecue recipes, tutorials, and reviews. And other than that, let's get into the cook. All right, so today we're gonna to be making a whiskey glazed ham using the pit barrel cooker, and this cook is gonna be absolutely delicious. We're gonna be smoking it using some old uh, whiskey barrel staves, and we're gonna be making our whiskey glaze uh, using Shelter Point Distillery's artisanal single malt whiskey, which is made right here on Vancouver Island and is absolutely delicious. So what we need to do first is just cut some marks into this. This is a spiral cut already, and so it's already cut uh, for us from about this point down. And so we need to just score uh, the top section here. And this is just gonna help uh, our glaze uh, sort of find some cracks to rest in and add some flavor as, as it cooks here. And then what I've done is I've mixed up uh, already a spritz. This is uh, three ounces of water, uh, three ounces of apple juice, and about one and a half ounces of the Shelter Point uh, whiskey. And what we're gonna do is just uh, go ahead and spritz the entire surface of this ham. This spritzing gun I'm using is called Mr. Barbecue Mister uh, from Heritage Q. It's really cool. All you need to do is load up your bottle, pull the trigger, and get spritzing. All right, with the ham spritz, let's grab some of our barbecue rub, and we're gonna place uh, some of this over top of the outside. We don't need to go heavy with the rub. Uh, we just wanna add a little bit of that extra flavor here. And so the last thing we're gonna do is add a little bit of apple juice just to the base of this ham, and this is just gonna help uh, keep it hydrated a little bit. With our ham all prepped, let's finish getting the pit barrel set up for cooking around 275 degrees. So the last thing I'm gonna do is place this single block of, of whiskey barrel wood into this pit barrel cooker. And you can see that this line here is where the whiskey actually penetrated into the wood. And so it's gonna give us some great flavor uh, for this cook. And so place that directly over the coals. Then we're gonna place our uh, Grill grate back on. Place our ham directly on that grill grate. Then with the pit barrel, you always want to put your, your uh, bars back in. And this is just going to help regulate the heat uh, because we're looking for 275 degrees. With that all set up, we're going to place the lid back on the pit barrel and begin cooking around 275 degrees. So our ham is smoking away in the pit barrel cooker, and so let's go ahead now and make our glaze that we're gonna put on top of that delicious ham. What we're gonna do is take a three quarters of a cup of brown sugar and place that into a saucepan. Next, we're gonna add in a quarter cup of uh, good tasting maple syrup. After the maple syrup, we're just gonna put a pinch of cinnamon into this mixture. And then we'll give it a quick stir. We just wanna combine that uh, maple syrup and brown sugar together. All right, so next we're gonna add in some whiskey. This is uh, from our friends over at Shelter Point, and this is our Arsenal Single Malt Whiskey. It's very, very good, and I encourage you to use a good whiskey when you're uh, making this recipe. So we're gonna put in uh, two ounces of whiskey into this. One, two, Next, we're gonna add in a barrel of sunshine. This is uh, orange spice maple uh, flavors coming together here. And this is a really good combination with the whiskey. And it's gonna go really well on that ham. So we're gonna, again, we're gonna put in uh, two ounces of this. There we go. So with everything in our saucepan, we're just gonna get it up to a simmer, and we're gonna simmer it for about five minutes or so, uh, just to help um, evaporate that alcohol, as well as to reduce it down a little bit, uh, because we want this to be uh, thickened up a little bit uh, for that glaze when we put it on. So this glaze has simmered for about five minutes, and I just wanna show you a little trick here, and this is how we know it's gonna be done. So you're gonna take a clean spoon here, and just put that in. And when it starts to stick a little bit to the back and, and run off, you know that it's all done. Mm. 
So our ham has been smoking for about one hour now, and so let's open it up and just give it a quick spritz. Once that's done, let's continue cooking this uh, for about one more hour before we wrap it up. Wow, this looks great already. And so let's get that foil on. What this is gonna do, it's gonna uh, actually cook it in moist heat, which actually penetrates deeper faster. And so by wrapping it, we're actually uh, gonna preserve the color that we have right now while speeding up that cooking process. So let's go ahead and wrap it. So with it wrapped, let's get it back on the grill. And we're gonna keep cooking this until it reaches an internal temperature of 130 degrees before we put our glaze on. So after about two and a half hours of heating, this ham has reached an internal temperature of 130 degrees. So we're gonna pull it off and get it ready for the glaze. I wish you could smell this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and we're gonna place the ham back into the pit barrel directly over the coals. And then we're gonna apply our glaze and we're gonna let that glaze set up for about 10 minutes or so. So you can see that this glaze is thickened up uh, real nice. And so let's place that directly over uh, all of the surface of this ham. Get the lid back on. We're actually gonna leave the rebar out uh, for this because uh, we want that temperature in that pit barrel to climb to 350, even 400 degrees uh, to allow that glaze to set. And when it sets, we're gonna pull it off and get ready for the taste test. This whiskey glazed ham turned out incredible. It's got such a nice aroma of that natural ham scent, as well as that whiskey that we put on, and that's that uh, barrel of sunshine with the orange spice and maple coming together. Uh, this is gonna be really good. So I'm gonna cut into it and give it a taste. Here we go. Here we go. Mmm. -hmm. The flavor on this ham is absolutely amazing. It's got the right amount of smoke that's on it, as well as that stickiness uh, of, from the glaze that's on the outside, and that hint of the spiced uh, barrel of sunshine is coming through really nicely with that whiskey. And this glaze, guys, is absolutely incredible. You need to try it out. Uh, it's unreal. Your friends and family are gonna love it. With that sticky and delicious whiskey glaze, this ham is gonna be a hit for sure. Hey, if you like what we're doing on this channel, consider subscribing for more great barbecue recipes, tutorials, and reviews. And other than that, we'll see you next time.